Hi, my name's Edith Butterfield and I'm the Product Manager for Plasma Cutting for BOC. Today I'm going to talk you through our Smooth Cut Plasma 100 machine. This machine is a 100 amp plasma cutter suitable for light to medium industrial plasma cutting. It delivers a quality cut of up to 30 millimeters on steel, 25 millimeters on stainless steel and 12 millimeters on aluminium. When you purchase this machine, it comes with a number of items, including a 6 meter torch, a work return lead, a number of consumables to get you started, an air hose, and an air regulator. Also included in the package is an operating manual. We recommend that you read this operating manual before you operate the machine. Now before you get started, it's important to note that the SmoothCut 100 is a three-phase machine. Therefore, you will need to get a qualified electrician to fit an appropriate plug for you before you get started. Once you've fitted the plug to the machine, you will then have to fit the air pressure regulator, which fits at the back. To fit the air pressure regulator, uh, the first thing you need to do is take the regulator and attach the inlet and outlet nipples, like this ensuring that they are fitted tightly. You then need to fit the gauge to the front of the regulator. It's important to note that the regulator is marked with an in and an out. The in is where the external air enters the regulator and the out is where the air enters the machine. Once you have put that together, you then need to fit the bracket, which is done so at this point here. Once you have fitted the air regulator bracket to the back of the machine, you can then fix the air regulator. You do this by taking off this ring here, putting it through the bracket like this, and then affixing the ring over the top. Once you've affixed the air regulator, you can then attach the hose. The air hose is supplied with the package, but you will need to cut it into two pieces. The first piece you put on will take the outlet from the regulator into the machine. So take your Jubilee clip, put it onto the hose, and then fix onto the regulator. You can then fix it to the gas in down here. The other piece of hose is used to connect the air compressor to the machine. You'll notice that it fits in to the air regulator marked in that is in for the external air. Again, tighten the hose with the Jubilee clip. The machine requires a four and a half to six bar air supply pressure, and it has a withdrawal rate of 150 to 200 liters per minute. Now that the air regulator is fitted, we can fit the torch and the works return lead. The torch is fitted to the outlet at the front of the machine here. To fit it, locate the square on the end of the torch to the corresponding hole in the outlet. Push the torch in firmly and then turn the connector. You will hear a clicking noise. Keep turning until the clicking noise ceases and you can turn it no more. This may take up to 20 turns. The works return lead is fitted into this outlet here. Now that you've attached the torch and the works return lead, we're ready to switch the machine on. But before you do, make sure you have the adequate PPE. That includes a welding jacket, some gloves, and some Shade 5 goggles. You can now switch the machine on. You do this by plugging the machine into the mains, and then switching it on at the switch at the back of the machine. 
This torch has a high frequency start, which means that you do not need contact in order to start cutting. Once you pull the trigger, you will see a pilot light and you're ready to go. Thank you very much for your time and I hope that you enjoy using the SmoothCut Plasma 100. The machine comes with an 18 month warranty and all consumables are available from BOC.